Welcome back everybody. Today, we're going to talk about pattern layers, how to make them, and one way to use them. I'm going to start by creating this pineapple man image on a blue background that I already have set up. I'll go to file and then place in my menu. I've downloaded four different pictures of fruit that I'm going to use to make my pineapple face. I can select all four and bring them onto my canvas at one time. I'll click on this pineapple PNG file and drag it onto my screen. Next, I'll add a banana smile. Then, I'll add this orange. Lastly, the cherries. I'll drag the fruit to where I want them. I can resize and turn them if I want by using the different nodes around the selection box. I'll work on the orange eyes here. The leaf makes an excellent eyebrow. And I can just click Command or Control J to duplicate the orange to make a second eye. Now, I just need one cherry for the irises. I'll select this one using my selection brush tool. Then, I'll right click on the image and select Rasterize to turn the layer into a pixel layer. I'll go to Edit Cut and then Edit Paste to add the single cherry to a new layer. I can now delete the other two and move my one cherry into place, resize it and then click Command or Control J to add another iris. All right, now I'm going to select all the pieces of my Pineapple Man by dragging the selection tool over all of them and then selecting the Group button at the bottom right of the Layers panel. Then I'll resize it so it fits nicely on my canvas. That looks good. Next, I'll group the Pineapple group with the blue background. Then I'll right-click on the new group and scroll down to rasterize this into one single pixel layer. Okay. Now, I've got my Pineapple Man design, I can turn this into a never-ending repeatable pattern by going to Layers in the menu and selecting New Pattern Layer from Selection. Watch what happens when I drag the top right node down and to the left. I get lots and lots of pineapple people. Pretty cool, huh? But you might be asking yourself, now that I got a pattern layer, what the heck am I going to do with it? Well, there are a lot of things you can do, but I'll show you one here. I'm going to turn this pattern layer into a regular pixel layer by right-clicking on it and selecting Rasterize. Next, I'm going to add my new design to this guy's shirt. I'll start by duplicating the guy layer by right, clicking on him and selecting Duplicate. Command or Control J would work as well. Next, I'm going to make a selection of his T-shirt, grabbing the pen tool on the left toolbar and making series of dots outlining the shirt. I'll speed this up a bit so as not to bore you. Okay, that looks good. Now, I'll make my selection a little more precise by clicking on the Node tool and selecting all the dots by dragging a box around them. Then, I'll click the Smooth Curve button on the top toolbar. I can now go in and make tiny adjustments by moving the nodes or working with the little handlebars to change the curve a bit. Once again, I'll speed this up. But while I go through it, here's a few tips about the node tool. You can move any node you want by clicking on it and then dragging it. The other nodes and the curve will adjust. If you want to move the curve around the node, just grab and rotate the handlebars both sides will move. But if you only want one side of the curve to move, click Option or Alt while grabbing the handlebar to have it only affect that side of the curve. That looks great. Now I'll just reselect my pen tool and then go to the top toolbar and click on Selection to select the T-shirt. Now, with my top background layer of the guy selected, I'll go to Edit Cut and then Edit Paste to place the T-shirt cutout into its own layer. Almost done here, I'm now going to drag the Pineapple Man pattern layer onto the T-shirt cutout layer to embed the pattern onto the shirt.
To give this a little more realistic look, I'm going to change the blend mode to one of these top blend modes here. I think multiply looks best. All right, that's about it for today. If you learned something and want to see more of this kind of content, please click those like and subscribe buttons. And if you're feeling generous, this channel runs on caffeine. There's a link to buy me a cup of coffee in the descriptions. Not necessary, but certainly appreciated. Have a great day, everyone.